most people fail because they don't fail enough. At least that's the main message from this book written by Donald J. Trump, former US president before he was president, and Robert Kiyosaki, who's well known from the Rich Dad, Poor Dad series. Before I go on, I'd express caution here, because although these two people failed a lot, then succeeded, there'll be a whole cohort of people who had the perseverance to keep failing and not succeed. Nonetheless, it does suggest some good advice, and that's best to keep your daytime job whilst building your passive business in your spare time. In part, that's because if your business fails, you've still got a job. And perhaps the more important point is that otherwise you'll be working for free for a long time, i.e. you'll still be on the rat race. A lot of the messages are just repeated from rich dad, poor dad, to be honest. It suggests that being good isn't good enough when it becomes to being an entrepreneur. In fact, you need to be excellent. Focus is the main skill to develop, and knowing then what to use your excellent focus on. Because if you've got vision and focus, and you're an entrepreneur that's willing to overcome risks, that's the solution to success. As a business person, you must really become a generalist, not a specialist. And this is because as the business grows, you're going to be delegating things. And what you want to be able to do is speak to experts in their language and understand what they're talking about so that you've actually got the big picture of your business under control. Otherwise, you may find if you focus on one particular area, other things in the business will just pass by. And really, as a strategic entrepreneur, you're wanting to control the business and the direction and have a handle on what's going on. It mentions how important the uh, idea of branding is, the integrity behind a brand and respect in that. Also a lot about military school in that it suggests that's the way that you can learn leadership unlike in a normal school. And both authors aren't ashamed to play up their military experience. The other thing it stresses is the importance of having good business partners who have integrity. That's the key thing. You don't want nice people per se, you want people with integrity who will do as they say. Because if you partner with people who don't have integrity, you're going to fail. Get a mentor and learn every day. You want a mentor who has lived experience. Both authors had mentors and father figures. Donald Trump had his father and he was already building property and he took him under his wing. Robert Kiyosaki had the rich dad, pseudo father, who taught him about business. And what you want though is somebody who has lived experience and a mentor, not somebody who just knows the theory and hasn't done anything behind it. Realise that when your generations go on, often there's a cycle. You've got one generation who suddenly have the opportunity to be entrepreneurs and develop things, and they'll take that, but they'll also accept that they have to work extremely long days and hold a lot of risk. The next generation from an entrepreneur may be somebody who wants to perhaps work as a professional, in which they have some security. But then their next the generation, their offspring, may potentially think, well, they didn't make much and they actually worked really hard. So you can see how the entrepreneur professional cycle could go through from one generation to another. Throughout this book, Trump really highlights the amount of input he put into the apprentice outline and that he didn't just show up. He really was um, integral behind the scenes, uh, putting in work. I'm sure you all know what the apprentice is. If not, you're fired. But it's when you've got a series of wannabe business people coming and in the UK it's Lord Alan Sugar who used to do it. I, I believe Arnold Schwarzenegger also did this in um, the USA. 
Anyway, it's a worthwhile thing to watch. But the key is, he really outplays himself there by saying how key he was, even though I've just mentioned The Apprentice being successful with other key figures. But the point is that he's trying to outline Trump, how important he is as an individual. And he says, for example, when he was having difficulty with costs, he then was the one who signed the checks and then costs went down a lot. Because if you know that somebody's paying attention to something, perhaps if you're selling a resource such as wood, you may actually charge less than if you think it's just being signed without any attention. There's an interesting concept about the mindset and those, if you're trained to work for money, you focus on receiving. Whereas if you're actually trying to work to serve millions, like I hope these videos will, they're at the moment not, but thanks for watching, then you're actually trained and you've got your mindset about giving. So in summary, if you want to be a nice business entrepreneur, you want to be leverageable, expandable, predictable and financeable. Hope you've enjoyed that. Feel free to comment below, like, subscribe and I'll see you next time.